Moving to Wilmette, Illinois in the spring summer of 2024 requires a lot of knowledge and it requires an actual home that you can buy because the inventory level is so low. So I want you to know the five you know, most important things right now if you're looking to buy is one, finding a home, like I said. So, you know, right now I know of five homes that I will be listing in the next 60 days. I know of a few homes that other agents are going to be listing. They're not on the market yet. I just had a client who lost 10 homes last year. It's pretty amazing. They were not working with me. Um, they called me because they really needed help after losing out on 10 homes last year and thoroughly depressed. Um, and we just were able to put an offer on a home that was not on the market in the MLS yet. Very, very strong offer. And we're waiting here to see if we get it. But big difference between kind of sitting on the sidelines. So you have to be aggressive. You have to know where the homes are. And then you need to know, will you lose money if you pay a hundred, two hundred over or more over the asking price, just so you know in advance what the probability is of losing money. Because in 09 and the years uh, preceding that, you know, I've seen this all work out over historically, and I have seen people stuck in their homes, you know, gonna lose anywhere between 300,000, I've seen up to a million dollars, and it took them, you know, 15 years to get to the point where they could be close to, uh, you know, getting their money out of that house. Um, that's going to happen again is my prediction. And if you buy a house, that's a little bit off and you think it's okay, but it's not, you could lose a lot of money. So you have to be aware of that. So you need um, to really understand historically what's happened and the here and now. The third thing that you need to be aware of is that things are um, different as far as Eastern Wilmette, Mid Wilmette, like McKenzie School, or Western Wilmette, more like Harper or Ramona. So the inventory levels are a little, tiny bit better, a little bit more west, tiny bit. And um, the prices are a little bit more competitive, better values on the, the Western part. So right now I'm helping a few clients and one client in particular is really interested in the western part of Wilmette, which, you know, I think will help them value-wise and a little bit getting uh, some inventory. And, um, you know, it's just a, a little bit different as far as where you're going to be. So the, the other thing about buying in Wilmette is, do you really need to be close to the lake? Um, it's a big difference. Some people insist on it. Other people, they're not as, you know, um, concerned with it because it really opens things up quite a bit. If you can be a little bit further from the lake, you're not in kind of the, the hot zone of, you know, a scramble to be by the lake. Prices are up, things like that. So another thing is new construction in Wilmette. Um, I just put a home under contract for 3.2 million that was not on the, the market, not on the MLS, um, for some people coming from out of town. Um, it was a, a builder I've worked with for you know, 15, 16 years here and was able to get that house um, because of, uh, largely because of my relationship with him and the trust that we've built on multiple transactions over the years. So, um, you know, the the experience, the kind of on the street, knowing what's going on and knowing where the inventory is coming from before it comes is very helpful. So um, just call, text, email. You have any questions about any of this, what's going on right now in Wilmette, the way it works, where the homes are, um, where the smart buys are, which are the, a little bit riskier buy. Um, you may buy it. Ultimately, a lot of people decide to still buy, even if it's risky, but at least they know, you know, what, what the, the future may hold, you know, speculating a bit, um, kind of an educated guess based upon a, a lot of experience. So I've sold about right around 1200 homes, you know, in my career. Um, and, uh, you know, the average agent's, are selling far less than that in their career. So, 
you know, it can make a difference. If you'd like some help, just call, text, happy to help, any question. Nothing is too small. Just reach out anytime. Well, Matt is going to be flourishing in the next few months um, when, you know, there starts to be leaves on the trees, get closer to summer. People want to get in before the school year. Um, you have to get signed up for the camps in Wilmette. Um, the park district camps, um, get situated for preschool, get registered for school. I mean, all this happens very, very quickly. Um, and for example, they just had the, the cutoff date for the sailing beach to get your paddle boards, um, your small sailboats, and your um, kayaks, um, all those things, you know, you had to renew so that you could be down there and enjoy like bringing your own food uh you can bring alcohol drinks hang out down there uh it's much more um quiet and less crowded than the public beach even though the public beach is fantastic we're splitting hairs here but really really a lot kind of just ramping up and happening right now um so just reach out if you need any help at all uh well that's you know just in demand